I'm not side affiliated, running bird veteran. Put the demonstration down. Now these niggas hating. Man from the come up, this a guy. Welcome to the Creighton Administration Podcast. I'm your host, Corey Lee Baker, aka Run Bird Veteran. Today on the show, we got TTE Knot. What's up, my boy? What's going on, gang? Shit, nothing, you know, the biggest. Yeah, the one that nobody can't do this shit like I did this shit. They're gonna continue to do this shit. Go forever do this shit. Forever live on with this shit. You getting an exclusive right here, man. TT. Naughty it is. You hear me? Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, Straight man. Up. It's a lot going on. Too much. Lace us up about Pop Austin, man. I met Pop Austin like six months ago. Uh. Damn, uh. Uh, uh. True Prophecy was up there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when I met True, I mean, I called up there, I Googled it. Make a long story short, nigga, so I called up there. He was like, hit the email. And I, I'm like, man, hold on. I feel like that's disrespectful. For one, I'm a man. At least let me get say what I need to say and then do it. So I stopped it right there. And he said the energy I gave him was like, man, hold on, we need you up here. Because I'm like, man, I'm from Austin. I ain't saying I'm finna talk on this nigga. No, man, I got, I got something to tell. And that's not on no nigga. That's not on nobody else. But I need to tell my son. I got shot five times. Nigga shot me. Go. Yeah, go look it up. Go look all my shit up, man. This me. I did eight years in the feds. I come home. I see all this Looney Tune ass shit going around. You feel me? So, boom. They, I went up there and, and the rest was history. You know what I'm saying? The people liked it, what they seen. I really touched out of town base. Fort Worth, Dallas. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, let me see. LaGrange. Uh, uh, West Oakland. Uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee, uh, North Memphis, Tennessee, uh, 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 Florida, uh, D.C., Chicago. Like, man, I got a fan base. You feel me? So, like, shit, I know I was, I was, doing, my, I was doing what I supposed to. You feel me? So, not to get credit. So, to get credit when you're there, but then when you expose something, the credit to everything, the credit that you got, you never had no credit because it wouldn't have been... It wouldn't have been none of that. It wouldn't have been no college, no police, and I've done you 1.2 million. Tell them to post that. Straight so, up. so where actually did it did it go go wrong? Because uh, it seems like you build a it, friendship it, it, with them. Yeah, but it, it was a lot of shit that that people didn't see that I kept it built it up. It built it up. It built it up. I was going. I was just continuing to see how long they was gonna fuck over because the, at first they were showing me everything. You know what I'm saying? It was money in the account, bro. You know what I'm saying? YouTube said they weren't releasing it until the 22nd. If y'all go look, I went viral before October. It was September. It was September. Like September when that shit happened with Ro. It was like September. Then I backed though. I just went viral again since I've been gone. Two weeks ago, check the one with MO3. That bitch like at 60-something, 70-something. That bitch gonna go to 100,000. Know what I'm saying? So he said, they said yesterday, they told they lied to the people. They said that that no money, no money, no money. But if you go listen to all the other ones, man, we the biggest, man. Like, like we bringing in revenue. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, so you contradicting your story. You know what I'm saying? Did they see the OG Percy go in there? Like, nigga, like, damn, this nigga now, these niggas the one was shitting on this nigga. Nigga, I took up for y'all, nigga. That one ain't gonna get y'all money back, bro. I'm being 100. Let's just be real. Nigga, y'all cried to me, homie. Y'all cried to me, and I understood y'all pain. Because, nigga, I rock with you. I, that's what loyalty lie. You feel me? It, lo it lied to them. It lied to them. For real, nigga. I, I, wasn't, I wasn't going up there to go, nigga, for what? I know how to talk. I'm a man. And this is a business for us, anything. So I put my feelings aside. I know, but while you lying to my people, you trying to manipulate my fans to stay right there. I started at one subscribe, I'm like at 65 or 67, something like that. They love Naughty because, nigga, I'm really for the voiceless. I don't talk down on no rappers, but what I supposed to do, and I, I, they brought me into that, okay, I'm in the entertainment. I got to speak on this type of shit, but I use that shit to speak on my life. See, people always want to be in that seat, but you ain't went through no shit. You got to go through some shit. I'm going to tell you what my Uncle Lester told me. He said he told me he a pastor, Blackston Lloyd Baptist Church. He say, your knee pads ain't dirty yet. It ain't dirty yet. You ain't been down there praying enough times. You feel me? 
You ain't been down there plenty enough times. I had to get down there and get the me past Ashley. That's where my blessings come. I know my talent. I know my wealth. If so, if you telling me, I just if you think, would you sit there and just continue? Know what you doing? Know if, do you know what viral consists of? I just found out what viral consists of. I just found out when all these people was hitting Pop Austin up. Now they hit me up because Pop Austin went there and posted on their thing. They thought it was gonna work in their favor. It worked against them. Now he's a free agent. Now that's wrong with y'all doing to him. You ain't showing him no breakdown. You disabled that shit, man. You disabled all that. That's all you did, man. Stop lying to the people, homie. The, the people should be able to know the truth. Now, now they won't see. I, I ain't gonna lie. I brought Austin together. You didn't see no Austin, oh, Austin shit. You didn't see I'm, I'm telling four words, the four words shit. I didn't get into beats. I didn't get into that shit. I was saying we strong. Let's let our rap people come together, homie. For real. So, you know what I'm saying? That's just what that was, bro. Yeah, I did notice that Pop Austin blew up when you came. Is it safe to say that you brought the flow? I don't mean to sound cocky when I say this shit. I brought the nigga, I brought the juice. I brought the bread. I brought the goddamn 12 pack. Nigga, I put the motherfucker on my motherfucking back, nigga. I put that bitch on my back, nigga. You got me fucked up. I stood in the front of the line and say, shoot me, nigga. You ain't touching him, nigga. Let's talk. Let's talk about it. That's what we say. So you telling me I was just up there being a bad person? Y'all wouldn't have had me around that long, nigga. I wasn't up there being a bad person, nigga. Look how my fans, look how y'all treat my fans. They, they deserve to hear the truth, nigga. Nigga, I called y'all, nigga. I ain't even call y'all. I, I ain't even talk to them to threat them. How did I threaten them? I ain't even talk to them. That was the first time they addressed it, bro. This happened last week. I text them. They was mad about Loco Dollar from Beaumont, how they interviewed it. After the interview, that nigga did me like this and say, hey, man, that was a live interview and left. They didn't like that. KJ already said, Brad was just like, we felt that leaving. He was like this, he was mad. We felt it leaving, homie. Why? So you want me just to play a whole ass nigga on my show? Just to play a whole ass nigga? Okay. He defended, nigga, he defended Bowman. I'm just trying to show him, don't go on the interview, throwing salt. I went on the interview saying, fuck my eye, he dead. I can say that. I went on there talking about, I'm the hardest, nigga. I backed it up. I talked my shit. I deserve so a little sugar. Up. You got me fucked up. And fuck a pussy, nigga, think I do. Nigga, nigga, you tell me what if it was you. See, they, they, let me tell you something. They didn't hate the, they love what I do. They love what I did. They just hate the person that did it. In their eyes, I'm a whole ass nigga. You don't even know me. Nigga, never sat down next to you. Never talked on the phone to y'all. Never. So how the fuck, nigga, how can you be mad at me? No, nigga, don't try to replace me. Nigga, try, if you want to do like that, walk in a nigga's shoes, nigga, because I didn't walk like you, nigga. I didn't hate on no bitch or no nigga to get to where I'm at. That just being 100, bro. So what role do the white dude and the black dude play? They puppets, man. You want me to keep it real? I really think they're Illuminati. I'm going to be 100. These bitches just fell off the face of the earth, fam. Man, nobody don't know them, fam. They told me they've been doing this shit 12 years. They was college students, and they was roommates then. You feel me? So they start doing that. You know what I'm saying? For real, though. So, nigga, I'm just sitting back peeping. I'm a street nigga. I'm sitting back peeping, but I'm looking like, okay, they really don't know what's going on. They really don't. You know what I'm saying? They really don't know what's going on. Okay, boom, all right. They just seen me as a cash cow. You know what I'm saying? That bitch shot out too quick for them. It shot out too quick for everybody, but I embraced it. I embraced them. They just put the camera right there and said, nigga, go. Nigga, go. And we can keep you drunk. We can keep you drunk. We can keep you drunk. We're going to keep you drunk and get you here. But but the Mexican girl, she sit up there look pretty, and they giving her 350 I don't deserve to say nothing. 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 So do you feel like they owe you loyalty or you show too much loyalty? 
I've definitely shown too much loyalty. They didn't give me no loyalty. It wasn't no loyalty from jump with them. Because they wouldn't have reacted like they reacted. They would have set me down. They know my heart. They know my heart than anybody, bro. Them people know my heart, bro, where I stood, bro. Them people know when people was trying to press them. Bro, they had niggas cop that, bro. Bro, they had niggas from jail, bro. They had niggas from jail told them they gonna get out of them things and put this on their books. On God, homie. On God, homie. Go look at the big man on God, nigga. Nigga, Mexican right. nigga from Austin, nigga, told them, hey, hey, send me this. Nigga, they showing me they scared. He got a jack. Nigga, I say, bitch, bitch, bring your bitch ass home. Bitch, you got me fucked up. Nigga, we ain't paying you shit. It ain't no extortion here. Yeah, appreciate you, man. Man, it's cool. I love you, nigga. Let's ride. Let's ride. Just treat me right. We, we, it was, Brad with Jules was right there. They said, we gave, they said, hey, Nani, promise me you'll trust us, Nani. I said, man, I trust y'all. You feel me? I gave y'all, I gave y'all too much trust. Y'all didn't give me no trust, homie. Y'all ain't give me no trust, bro. Y'all didn't. Y'all didn't. Y'all just used me as a crash dummy. And y'all try. Y'all feel like the people. Y'all can play this innocent victim role because y'all gonna use my past criminal. Look what he told the police. Uh, he known to keep a, a pistol with him. He lied to the police officer. He lied, bro. He gave false statements to the police officer. If you never open the door, how you know I got a gun on me, homie? How you know I got a gun on me if you never open the door? If you never open the door. You never open the door. You can tell the people, if you're a real businessman, businessman don't do that to a person that put them on their back. You don't do that on no live television. So basically he made a false report. He made a false report and he did it for views. That was the go look. Since I've been gone, they ain't been getting no views. Yeah, I noticed that. They not. They ain't been getting no views, so who is who? I, I started my own channel. I was at one subscriber. I met almost 70 subscribers. I did more views on all minds. Go look, check the score. I'm winning. They not winning. They didn't make me. I made them. So I'm not finna sit here and put no more tears in my eyes and sit here like I'm sad. I'm not sad no more. I gave it to God, my nigga, and they gonna get theirs. Not by me. Not by me. I'm gonna continue to shoot out to the moon. I deserve what I'm getting, homie. And I ain't let nobody come between that. I wish anybody go up there the best. But if you go up there, you know they ragging. So then you don't stick by that code. You don't stick by, okay, they sit up there and say, remember they, if you look at Pop Austin, you see that it's Clown Charleston White for calling the police. They Clown Charleston White for calling the police all the time, bro. Then he say, I'm a civilian, pay my taxes. Bitch, I work. Nigga, I pay my taxes. I've been out here two years. Nigga, following my shit, I ain't asked nobody for no helping hand, homie. I didn't ask them niggas to pay me, they told me. Hey, you getting too popular. They did tell me. Hey, your name getting too big. Stop going to the store. When I do go out, nigga, when I, it's my nigga, it's the white people that show me the love, homie. It's the people that got nine to five show me the love, homie. And it's half the nigga, it's like 30% of the hustlers show me the love, homie. Swell goodness. It's half the hustlers show me the love, bro. So who actually uh, run the show? The white boy getting D head. The white D do anything the white boy say. The white boy, the white boy ain't got a lick of sense. He too smart. He, he so smart, he dumb. He so smart, found he dumb. He dumb. He's so smart, he dumb. He don't have a lick of sense. If he had any kind of lick of sense, I ask one question. Are y'all paying TJ the DJ more than me? I got put on D and D. I got put on D and D. Uh, he blocked the phone, he cut the phone off, and I never heard from him. So you think because you spoke up about yep. oh, about of course. situation? I called him. I called him in the cookie jar. I called him in the cookie jar. We see this with rappers all the time. But people just can't accept the fact that it happened to me. They want a chance so bad, they willing to say, fuck my, uh, fuck, they pop out and fuck me. Fuck that. I want to go be up there. He had his time. I want to go be out there. Instead of saying, man, I'm going to tap in with Nani, TT Nani. I know that bitch got the goddamn, he got the goddamn contacts and everything. I wasn't no dummy, nigga. I got all the contacts. They didn't want Pop Austin because the big bloggers and everything was telling me, nigga. 
to how to get my shit jumping. The same way they did OG Percy. The same way Charleston White gave the game. My fans, when they got, nigga, it takes time to build a fan base. You think you finna go up there and be up there two weeks and they, and they fuck with you? It can take a year. People want to see what type of character he is. You think they want a tough bitch or a tough nigga up there all the time? Nigga, they know none of you go hear some shit. He go chill. He go vibe. Nigga, they want to talk about anything, nigga, with the industry. Nigga, they know now they go put it into a real life perspective. That ain't for everybody. You got to know your lane. What is your lane? Like, my blessing ain't everybody's blessing, but a lot of people in Austin thought that was their blessing. You feel me? And, I, and that was my regret of showing everybody what I was doing, putting them in my business. You feel me? I should have really kept my business to me. You feel me? So do you think your inner circle messed the relationship up with Pop Austin? Hell yeah. Or played a part? Yeah. By last night when I prayed on it and everything, hell yeah. You want to elaborate? Because I shouldn't have put nobody in my business. My business is not nobody else's business. You feel me? When you go pay your bills, when you go pay your bills, you're going to pay your own bills. You're going to go tell your partner how much your bill is. Or is he giving you something on your bill? So when you go pay your bills, you go pay your own bills. That's what, that's what Pop Austin was trying to say. I know what they were trying to say. Ain't nobody put it in my head, but you know what I'm saying? When you put a lot of people in their business, they start thinking, they know where your weakness at. They know where your weakness at. They know where your strength at. So some people like this on your weakness and can't wait on that day and then just slay your ass to try to Climb the ladder, I'm sorry to say it, to try to climb that bitch. I've never been that type of guy, I can't go like that. I can't go like that. If it's meant to be for me, it's gonna be meant to be for me, you feel me? But my journey not over with, my journey just begun. My journey, my journey just begun. And I'm not, I ain't throwing salt on no niggas, nobody to get to where I need to be. It's too much going on that with my guilt, I ain't gotta speak on that. And this the last time I'ma speak on that, you feel me? So, do you, so on the flip side, do you feel like pop off the media put you on game about different things you didn't know? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. The music business, the podcast, the podcast business. Yeah, know, they told like me. Like the business side of things. They told me like, they told me like, Jet, Jet told me, set me down and like, Nani, you a star. They don't have this in Austin. Take advantage of your talent. They don't have this in Austin. Nani, you getting somewhere by not not beefing with people, not talking down on like, you know what I'm saying? You just telling hip hop news, you feel me? And how you feel about it, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, that's what it is when you get famous. I know when I get up there, that's just what it is, you feel me? But I didn't, like, I really was bringing the city together, you feel me? So. Do you think that Pop Austin media for the culture, or is it safe to say they're culture both? They not for the urban culture. They not for the urban culture at all. They not for the urban culture. D, D straddle the fence. Like, D, D good nigga. Good hearted. Like, he can be a good hearted nigga, but like, when he by himself. Like, Jet can be good hearted when he by himself. You feel me? But Jet, Jet more, the white dude is more on the scheming type. Like, like he said, Jet told him, man, I know that was Jet. That was Jet that did that. That one, that one D. D really won't meet up. You feel me? D don't. D didn't want none of this to happen. You know what I'm saying? D really gave a fuck about me. Like he said, his mama told him. His mama told him, that's an old soul. That his mama told him, I love him now. You feel me? But some people, my approach, my approach is different. I'm just a passionate person. I love this shit. I'm passionate. Any, any, any type of thing that I love to talk about is passionate. You know what I'm saying? I, my, my goal was never to beat no Austin artists up. I was making it, man, no, we got way other artists did Queen. That was my only thing. I love Queen to death, you feel me? And then, I ain't no other nigga saying you better not touch no Austin nigga, no Austin artists in Austin. I stand on that. No Austin artists, nigga. We not showing people that we against each other. You know what I'm saying? I'm the one put a step today. We got real OGs, nigga, standing up like, nigga, man, I have tears in my eyes. You made me think about the old Austin. Like, nigga, that's what we stand for. We not no drilling city. We a player city. Nigga, nigga, young niggas grinding, riding on foes. When we used to come out, man, it's just bowling parlay. We ain't none of them ride with switches and doing all that old goofy ass shit. No, that's what I talked about. That's what I talked about. And people in different hoods in O Block 
way I would feel that type of way. When they get up, they listen to Nani. They know Nani got some real shit to say. He playing some real music. I ain't telling you, telling your kids, your daughter, nigga, to go out there and do this and do that. Oh, go rob that nigga. Trick that nigga. Nah, I'm telling her, watch her friends, nigga. Watch everybody around you. I always play dumb and lame. That's part of the game plan. Yeah, make them think you stupid. You'll see if they really for you or against you. When they think you dumb and don't know nothing about the business. And that's how I had to do them. I couldn't come aggressive to them. I had to see what benefits I'm going to get first. For this, listen, when, this how you come in. When you come in, it's like you play dumb and like, let's see what you're going to get. Let's see if they're going to fuck over you and give you the shitty benefits of your big benefits. Or they going to give you your 50-50 benefits. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. They showing me, my nigga, they so much think I'm stupid. What's that? So what's that right there? I'm like this. Uh, 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 uh what's that? Numbers. You, did you ever hear them on there? Nani going up like we went from watch that shit, my nigga. You gotta watch the episode. That's why you got fans. I, I, didn't see, I, I, didn't, I, didn't I know when you got here, that. you you read out some shit with some fans said. Hey, these people been watching me. These people not dumb. You feel me? These people not dumb. These, these people not dumb by far, bro. These people not dumb by far. So when you got people voicing their opinions, speaking up, like man, stop the cow. Stop the cow. You see how nervous he is? Bro, he, was, he hit that black. When he heard that knock, I'm watching him while he watching me. I'm boom, boom, boom. I was really coming yeah, to talk and try to address it while we on live. Okay, now show the people right there. Go to that A box. How much money came and how much you left. You left 757 in in the thing, which is here or there. Oh, I, I was saying, I don't give a fuck. I, yeah, I want my mine's what I deserve. Don't give me too much and don't give me under. You know what I'm saying? Y'all the one told me what I'm worth. They told me what I'm worth, homie. They was charging, they were charging a thousand dollars, five hundred, to talk to me. You feel me? They kept putting out interviews on hold, on hold. All these, all these people were trying to fuck with me. Ask them. Ask Green Room TV out of Houston how they treated him. Ask them, bro. Well, to me, scratch that. Do you, do you think that they're trying to tarnish your image? To your fan base that tune in and listen to you? They don't want to listen. Let me tell you something. They didn't think I, they didn't want me to be bigger than them. They, you got to understand, they've been doing it too long. So for me just to come in, they goal was to get monetized and have me at this type of level. They goal was to control me. Like to control me, you feel me? To control me. They leave me dumb and all this. When I start going in HED stores, homie, and people want to take pictures of me, homie, that's how you know when you getting big. When people want to pay you two fifty for verses, nigga, when people want to uh, bring you down to their city, that's when you know you're doing something. When you when People let me know how I, I'm getting. I went to them for real, man. What's up with me, man? Nah, you getting too much love. People sending me $100, $50, like, we love the way you speak. People telling me I remind, I remind them of Malcolm X. Oh God, homie, that shit brought tears to my eyes. You hear me? People comparing me to Pimp C. You hear me? Pimp C ain't hate on no nigga. Pimp C told you nigga, South is big, nigga. We own that. Y'all gonna respect us? Put our albums on one side, put the other on this side. That's what. That's the era I come up, and that's the era I'm a guy about. I'm not on this new shit. Ops and all that type of shit. I don't. I don't know. I don't, I'm not on that new shit, fam. I can't. I can't. I can't. Me, my bloodline is so real. I cannot get into that. I'm not even going to embrace that. You feel me? Like no. I'm not. I'm not into none of that. What I'm into is just keeping it 100. In the way that D, the black dude, sit up there and lies. It wasn't nothing for him to lie and call the police on me. That's that's a dangerous person. That's a da that's a dangerous person that really can, really can. They was really trying to fuck the credibility of my name to make it seem like I'm just this nigger from the hood. Just want to be greedy and all that. How I want to be greedy, homie? For what? About what? I know my worth, homie. Name me one nigga in the city did 388. Basically. A half a million. Name me one nigga in the city did 1.2 million just using their camera and their background. Nigga, name yeah, me one nigga. Basically, that's what he was trying to make it seem like, you know, you wanted more and more. I never asked for more. I just asked for mine.
that they told me. I didn't never, I didn't never, I didn't never have him tell my family. I didn't never have him tell my family, bro, that on the 22nd, I 